welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about are you using expired products and how do you know and effective what date do your products start to go ahead and turn bad so this is something that actually was took me by a surprise and it was intriguing and it was just like why didn't you think about this honestly because everything has an expiration date but i don't know why you never think to actually think that your products are going to expire honestly just everything but after i became a curly girl was when i actually thought about it and i'm like everything does have an expiration date so how do you even know and you came to the right video because i'm going to be talking about it so without further ado let's go ahead and get started i did go ahead and bring i think four items yes to just go ahead and show you guys the different time frames that they do have where they are located and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and get started i did go ahead and bring this this is the weightless air dry cream by curl smith i do go ahead and have the revitalizer by botanica I do have the Zippity Doo Curl Jelly, Jelly, whatever you want to go ahead and pronounce it. And then I do have the Scalp Revival um, Charcoal Coconut Oil and Micro Exfoliant Shampoo Oof, by Briogeo. So, how do you know the time frame that you have to go ahead and use your products? So, I'm going to show you guys in each of them. This one you can go ahead and see this label right here is what is showing you the shelf life of the product so whenever you see this you can go ahead and know how long you have to go ahead and use this product or how long it's going to actually stay good and their recommended time span of use every single product does have it i have come across some and by some i mean like very scarce that I'm like, where is it? But I would go on the company's website and just look at the shelf life. But 98% of products do go ahead and bring it. So this is the shelf life for this product. It does say it's good for 18 M meaning months. This one is good for 12 months. This one is much smaller. This one is also good for 12 months as well. It's right here. And then this one, which I love and not all products are like this, but this one is good for 24 months, literally two years. I like that. <laughs> so what this is basically telling you is that from the time that you open this package, you know how some bring the foil some have a seal some have that plastic thing you take off once you go ahead and open it meaning you went ahead and expose it to air your time basically starts running from there so from that date so let's say you go ahead and open the product december 2020 now you have a shelf life of 12 months then you go ahead and have until december 2021 to go ahead and use the product where it's still good or you know that they recommend that it's available to usage the reason that i say that is because certain products would go ahead and go bad before the time frame it also depends you know the exposure that you give it to heat or too cold or if you left it somewhere you know that it's potentially not good um of a environment where it gets heated it, it all could depend that's why you see on most packaging that it says to leave in a cold dry place or something of that nature but from the moment you go ahead and actually take off any type of seal is when your time does start running it's something that you really don't think about honestly to go ahead and look for but again everything has a shelf life and I just want to bring up that whenever I do purchase a product, I do see this is honestly one of the few products that I do have that are good through like two years. That The maximum that I've seen is this 
two years that's all the minimum that i have seen is six months and that would be on like a very natural product where you literally have to keep it refrigerated because the shelf life is just shorter but with these type of products you know in general they do have they do go ahead and add preservatives for your um shelf life so that i can add, last longer i want to use my products i want to be able to use my products since i rotate a lot of products i don't always get to it so if i use this this week for my wash and go i'm not going to go ahead and come back to this till like weeks later because i do go ahead and rotate my products so it's always good to go ahead and have a product that at least minimum has 12 months of a shelf life but 24 you can't beat this <laughs> And something that I did want to go ahead and share with you guys, just a little tip, something that I do sometimes when I'm not sure. I'm pretty good with knowing around what time I purchase my products and how long of a shelf life it has from that time. But something that I do do to go ahead and just help me stay on track is I actually date them. So I actually purchased this August of 2019 so since this is a 24 month shelf life i do go ahead and have till august 2021 which is bomb and this is something that helps me stay on track sometimes when i forget when i actually purchase a product and it's something that you can actually incorporate to go ahead and use in your own regimen so that you don't lose track and not to say that you won't know if the product is bad because once a product is bad you will notice discoloration you will notice mold you will notice an odor you will notice that the consistency has changed so let's say it was a thick um it was a thick product and now all of a sudden you see clumps in it you're gonna know that it's bad but obviously you want to go ahead and know what's the recommended shelf life of the product so with that being said if you guys have any questions at all or you want to go ahead and know anything else or if I left anything out and you know, just go ahead and leave it out in the comments. Make sure that you do give me a like and make sure that you subscribe. Welcome. Okay, stay here. Watch my videos. Stay tuned for the videos that I have coming. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.